Hi everyone, this is Shri with Shri's Creative and today I'm going to be pouring over an old canvas of when I first started pouring resin and I'm going to be using resin blast, resi blast and see what happens. So I've got some neon pink or no neon scents and I'm going to be adding um, rock crystal blue which is the white powder that has the blue shimmer and I have shimmering gold really beautiful and I have some purple beautiful color love it and I have some bronze. And there you can see the rock crystal blue that I added to that neon. See the shimmer in there, isn't that pretty? There it is, rock crystal blue. Bringing it up closer to you so you can see. And then just some Casting Craft White. And setting those aside. And this is kind of a cool canvas but it's canvas so it kind of sinks in the center and I've never used resi blast before so I want to see how it goes so I'm just layering uh, some resin on top Okay, so the camera cut out, so I had to readjust, and I'm back here just smoothing on some of the clear resin so my other resin, colored resins, will slide easily. And it's a warm day here, and I'm up in my attic where there's not a whole lot of room, and it's warm, so I know this is going to cure fast, so... He's by morning hair and I'm just kind of showing there where on a canvas the reason why I don't like to use them is because the colors tend to merge toward the center um, because canvas can't really take the weight so that's why I'm going to try the resi blast on this She's my doggy paws, my kitty eating next to me. I think I'm just getting new gloves on, so excuse the pause. Of course, you can always fast forward on this and um, to see what happens. And I do appreciate your patience. Loving that sense neon with that shimmer blue. I'm going to definitely use that again. So I'm just going to layer colors on and see what happens. I 
that's that purple and that purple is I don't know if you guys saw the video on Facebook where I was showing purples uh, micas that I have on my site well um, I put of course the different colors all the way and this was what was left over on the actate and um, so I gathered that up and used it for this really pretty mix Okay, so I use shimmer gold. Now this is the brass. And I'm just kind of going willy-nilly. I don't really have a plan other than to see how that resi blast works in going through all the colors. And casting craft white. Well, I'm just going to try and blend it a little bit. I kind of wished I put the little platypus attachment on, but this is working. Shimmer gold is super sparkly. I have a daycare center next door if you can hear little kiddos playing. Okay, so here I'm deciding I'm going to go ahead and tilt these colors and do the old fashioned tilt. See what it does. I am very much liking these colors together. I think it's gorgeous colors. Back down again. I'm sorry if this is a little off camera. It's so funny that when I'm videotaping, I can see the whole canvas. But when I use this um, app, it's not showing the whole thing. But you get the gist of it, so that's what's important. So I'm trying to point out the shimmery in that... Uh, rock crystal blue you can see there I'm trying to brighten it up and change the color but it's not working very well not change the color but make it so you can see better there you can see isn't that cool Now I'm going to add more color.
And that was my doggy huffing and puffing. I'm trying to find a cool spot. I'm heating it up again so I can move it some more. I'm liking how some areas the underpainting is showing through a little here and there. I do like the cells on the um, left hand side but I end up losing them because I'm moving the painting again but that's okay uh-oh somebody's in trouble next door I don't know if you can hear that I'm just blowing it around Getting it to combine with the first colors I put down. And what I should have done here too is, you know, I should have warmed the resin up enough just to move around, and then I should have turned the color, um, the color, the temperature down on the heat gun. I'm just moving it around because I want it all to connect. And I know this camera is going to shut off for some reason, and I'm really hoping it will show what the Resi Blast did. So, move on. From here, it's looking really cool, though. I like it. I have love how that's looking like two mountains kind of erupting. I'm <laughs> pointing it out there. Okay, getting a few little hairs out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut out in a few seconds. I'm just pointing out a few cells and I'm trying to decide where to put the resi blast.
Okay, so I'm really disappointed my camera cut off once again and didn't show what I did with the Resi Blast, but I'll explain it to you. Because <laughs> what I did was put just a couple drops in a paper cup and I took the tip of the skewer and just dipped it in there and didn't even use enough to, you know, have a drop to drop into it. I just touched the skewer onto the canvas and um, this is what happened and I think it's really cool and I'm so sorry you didn't get to see that part but I'm kind of pointing out I'm liking how the cells have reached the bottom of the um, original painting so here's like a close-up of what I'm trying to show you where those blues and golds are coming through I think it's kind of cool and I really love this one it's almost shell like and I might try that like a nautilus in another one anyway I want to thank you all for watching and I'm so sorry you missed this part and please subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I'm on again. Love you. Bye.